How's it going guys? Back on here in the garage briefly. Uh, I've identified the cart. This is what you have. It's a 1962 Cavella cart made by the Bentis brothers. Here you go you dizzy. 172 Concord Road in Clemsford, Massachusetts. Which is right here, just like they say. They were made out of somebody's house. It was um, two people. I, I read the story about it. Uh, let's see if we can find it here. Go back to my mails. Uh, they started in 1961. Manufactured by the Bentis Brothers in Clemsford, Massachusetts. Uh, were very competitive carts. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, it says Joe German, a longtime friend of the Bentis Brothers, contacted the people uh, to give him this information on the site. Cavella carts were built, building a convent in a. Let me reword that. Cavella carts were built in a building, a converted chicken coop, in the back of a family house. It was Art and Joe Cavella. Uh, they also did custom hot rods built in the same coop. Supposedly you could see their custom hot rods in November 1959, uh, Hot Rod Magazine. And uh, they said the, the Bentis brothers went on to build hydro carts, which were um, cart-powered racing boats. So basically what you have is a 1962 Covella racing cart. Okay, the things that don't belong on here, which I didn't think, were these two arms, somebody added. Uh, some of the pictures I've seen have a hoop in the front, some don't. Okay, I don't know if the hoop was removed, it does not look like it was, considering where the pedals are. Um, angle line does not belong. Single engine, that's at about here. Okay, this right here someone converted this thing to disc brakes even though the disc brakes are uh, Earhart brakes from the era it originally had a Bendix brake setup that's what this was here there was some kind of bracketry for it here and this originally went to it so somebody was definitely racing it if they went through the trouble at one point uh, well these weren't bored as fun carts they were racing carts the steering wheel is correct spindles are correct everything's correct on it the um, just move one or two of the things here. This is the brake setup. As you can see, it says air hard on it. Which is that, and here's the mount you showed. I mean, there's the disc and all the stuff, uh, which I'm not going to dig out. But here's the caliber. So basically this caliber oops, mounted to here, okay, you had the disc, and then this mounted in front of the caliber. Really freaky setup when you think about it, because a modern day cart, they moved this thing all the way up to the front. And then this lever went to it. So. I can't find any more information about the go-kart company. Later on they might have offered this setup and then someone converted it over. And these three holes hook to these three holes. I mean if I lift it up everything's gonna fall off. So I mean and you showed it this way, but then this would have bolted. However they had it, uh, like this. And then all your stuff would bolt there. So this might have been the original disc brake cart, but I can't find any information on it. Um, like I said, there are a lot of manufacturers using plates like this and the triple hole bearing. So, but I would assume that this had the bore sticking out. Like, uh, I don't have it on any of my other ones, but you have it on my son's uh, mini bike where the brake would sit onto so the brake doesn't turn. That's what I would assume that was. Just like I see in the pictures. Can't get any clear pictures of the tank, but I was right, it has a full size tank. The bump out was made by somebody to get the cast cap off. 
So, and there would have been a full size seat cushion on here, pretty thick, up the sides, and it would have been padded all the way up to this. That's what this is for. And believe it or not, in the ad, this big padded area is called a jewel protector. I've seen pictures of them with the holes and without the holes. So, and these gussets belong here. So pretty much the only thing I see that somebody added was this bar. Probably later on, maybe maybe somebody used this as a fun cart. And there were no bearings. Yeah, I didn't go through what you had there. But it looks like you have quite a few bearings in here. More than two. So these are the bearings without the holders. They would sit in there just like these sitting there, down there. Same thing. Except you'd have one here. One here, there, there, and this would be on that cushion mount that you had. Okay. I'm sure if I look around, I'm going to start to see evidence. Like right here, I see a little tiny lump of something that was here for this cushion mount. So. And some things might not have been from the factory like that. I don't know what that is. You don't know what people have added. I mean, the car is very old. You know, it's now going to be, uh, what, 52 years old. So, it survived pretty well. It survived pretty well. See a slight bow right here, so it must have took an impact. That's easily rectifiable, no matter how I do it. And uh, those are the correct pedals. It would have came with uh, magnesium wheels, which I assumed it did, because the one I had when we were young, when I was younger, had magnesium wheels on it. So, but, uh, so that's what I found out about it, which is good. Now I know what, what kind of cart it is. Like I said, it's a 1962 Cavella cart. I can't find an actual style, like a, you know, like a name after that. I don't see anything listed on that. Um, the spindles are correct. They boast how they use three quarter inch spindles. So it's pretty cool how they use a, a bolt to do these. But they welded quite well. And the stuff is pretty thick. That they use, you can see they bit right into that. So, but this is the correct stuff for the front. So, the uh, axle and uh, the sprocket and hub and everything you gave me was correct. So, I never looked to see if you gave me the other pad. I gotta look in there. I don't know if you did. I think we got sidetracked when we were talking about it. I don't see. You're gonna have to take a peek there in your shop. If not, I'm gonna have to see if one's available. Same with these things. I'm sure uh, rebuilding kits are available. I didn't even attempt to see if that thing moves. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna move. <laughs> so, but uh, this is a cool little piece. So it'd be nice to have these working again if we, if it's doable. Hopefully, it's doable. So, I just figured I'd give you guys an update. Like I said, you're not going to see me work on this for a while. So, I got too many other things to do to uh, actually work on this thing. But uh, I will. I will, except, especially. Oops. There you go. Especially now that I know what it is. What happened to the people that built it? I have no idea. That's as much information as I can get. And that ad was written by a friend of theirs, so I'm assuming they're no longer alive. So, I mean, 1962 was 50 years ago. So, well, that's it, guys. That's my update. Take care.